Undoubtedly, as many people are aware, the press and the media have a colossally large influence upon celebrities' lives in this country. Many celebrities will argue that facts and information are distorted, they're misrepresented and misquoted in saying things by newspapers, particularly by critical mainstream tabloids such as The Sun, The Daily Mirror, The Star, etc. You know, celebrities will complain that they are harassed by the paparazzi, they're criticised and besmirched, but frankly they catapulted themselves into this position of authority and where they're setting an example to the rest of the population. And if they don't wish, if they don't wish to uh, have the exposure and the uh, the public outcry that they have, uh, as far as the media are concerned, then they really shouldn't have put themselves in this position in the first place. And that leads me on to my next point, of course, about the phone hacking scandal, when of course Millie Dowler was abducted by. Of course, uh, Levy uh, Belfield, who was later on that year convicted of her murder. And in between the space of time that she was, uh, of course, abducted and he was convicted, members of the News of the World were accused of hacking into her voicemail. And this, of course, escalated into mem many members of the newspaper hacking into uh, celebrities' phones. And, uh, you know, as a result of this, subsequently, many people were sent to prison. And this led to, of course, the closure of Rupert Murdoch's newspaper. But the point I'm saying is, you know, these celebrities who, um, of course, should be setting an example. They're a figure of authority and, you know, significance in the public eye. You know, when they act, you know, immorally, unethically and inappropriately in situations such, of course, John Terry did, of course, having the affair, of course, and, uh, of course, Tiger Woods, that situation, and, um, you know, many other situations, of course, with Wayne Rooney and the prostitutes. That, of course, begs the question, you know, do they deserve this exaggerated and sensationalised criticism that many tabloids uh, give them? And, you know, there is an element of, you know... Uh, of schadenfreude, where a lot of the public actually like to read negative things about people in the newspaper. You know, millions of people get satisfaction a day when they buy these tabloid newspapers. We don't tend to like to hear about, you know, wedding, wedding bells chiming and people having four children and getting married and living happily ever after. We like to hear negative things about people. But these celebrities should be setting an example. They shouldn't be having an affair. They shouldn't be fornificating. They shouldn't be uh, committing, you know, adultery and murdering people and and all sorts, because they are, as I say, a figure of eminence and, you know, and public and public significance. So they really should be, you know, behaving with decorum and conducting themselves um, appropriately, which a lot of celebrities haven't done recently. And, um, you know, I think Hugh Grant was was arguing recently, you know, there is a, you know, the, 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 a lot of celebrities are overexposed in the public eye and they're un, unfairly criticised and, you know, information is distorted. But in, in a sense, the media is there to inform, educate and enlighten people on a daily basis. But in, in many respects, you know, newspapers do like to um, misquote people to make a more entertaining story, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they, they'll dramatise a, a situation uh, just to make it more interesting. I'll give you, I'll give you an example, of course. The um, the Tiger Woods scandal, of course, you know, they, they made that into a much bigger deal than it actually was. Uh, and same with many stories, such as the John Terry incident with him having an affair. Uh, the way that they phrase uh, words and information, you know, it, it makes it sound like a, a, a more... Um, horrific, heinous crime than they've actually com committed. You know, Gerald Ratner, of course, making the, the speech about his jewellery in 1991, where he, he called um, a sherry decanter a crap, I believe it was, and a prawn sandwich had a longer sell-by date than uh, one of his rings uh, from Marks and Spencers. And, of course, at the time in the Royal Albert Hall, people laughed that off. The next day, of course, the Sun newspaper totally exaggerated the story, misquoted him, and blew the whole uh, story and saga out of proportion and Frankly, you know, it's a, it's a misrepresentation often of, of what takes place. And should the media be allowed to do that? Well, of course, they have the free, they have the free right as they are freely regulated in this country. And, uh, you know, but I think there is the argument that that can destroy people's careers. And certainly, um, certainly, yes, uh, I think in, misinterpret and misperceive uh, what people are actually, you know, doing and... Uh, and I think there, there should be an element of privacy in people's lives. But of course, on the flip side, the argument is, well, if some celebrity puts themselves in a position of, you know, of authority and fame in the first place, 
then maybe they should be prepared for the ignominy and public outcry that is thrown at them.